I hope you don't mind. I invited Pastor Jeff for dinner. That's fine. I was talking to your father. What's the occasion? No occasion. Just thought it'd be nice. His wife coming too? No, just him. They having problems? He's just coming to dinner. That's all. You two having problems? Are we? No. Pastor Jeff's wife is so much prettier than him. It's like Barbie married a turtle. Hey, here's a fun idea. How about you and Sheldon have dinner at Meemaw's tonight? All right. What's he doing here? Y'all getting a divorce? No, no. He's just here for dinner. Oh. Welcome, Your Holiness. I thought you were hanging out with Veronica tonight. We were supposed to, but then she invited a bunch of her choir friends over, and it turned into a stupid Bible study. No offense. None taken? Honestly, I do not understand the female mind. Do something. Georgie, why don't you go eat dinner in front of the TV? No, it's all right. Sounds like Georgie's having trouble navigating the perilous waters of a relationship. Believe me, I can understand. You having problems with your hot wife? Veronica says I'm the nicest guy she knows. She also says she only wants to date nice guys. Does that mean she wants to date me? I bet she doesn't. No, she does not. Does it make any sense? Nothing they do makes any sense. I know. Mary, George, I can't thank you enough for this. It was our pleasure. So, Pastor, are you going to try and talk things out with Selena? Well, we're really not on speaking terms, so I'll just be heading back to my office, sleep on the couch. That's ridiculous. He can stay with us, can't he? Uh, I guess that'd be okay. Of course it would. Oh, I couldn't possibly impose. Sure you could. In fact, you can take my room. Well, y'all are too kind. Hey, little man, how you doing? You smell like cigarettes. You're fun. Do you know what this binder is? It's a record of donations people make to the church. This data could easily be transferred into a computerized spreadsheet. Why isn't it? No idea. You also smell like mothballs and been gay. Bye. Mary doesn't tell you things about us, does she? I'm not at liberty to say. But she does, doesn't she? Yeah. Yeah. These people clearly don't know what 10% means. What are you talking about? This is the list of all the people who belong to the church and how much money they donate. Dorothy and Fred Nelson gave a dollar last week. So? They own the Piggly Wiggly. They can afford to give much more. Weird. You say Piggly Wiggly and suddenly I'm hungry. I'll tell you how much to give. But I can tell you the stucky stepped up for a thousand dollars. Mm-hmm. Well, you need to give what's comfortable for you. And, of course, I don't need to remind you, it's entirely tax-deductible. And at the next pancake breakfast, you can hold your head high. Thank you. That's very generous. Goodbye. The pancake line closed it. We are so going to heaven. Tell you what, Judy. Why don't you go upstairs to your daddy's bedroom and see how much is in his wallet? Don't worry. It's not stealing if it's for God. We all love to. Just helping Mom with some church work. Well, aren't you two great kids? We like to think so. <laughs> really? That much? Welcome, church. I pray you all had a blessed and prosperous week. I'm excited to share with you what the Lord put on my heart for today. I'm surprised you're here this morning. Hey, that is for my pal. The renewal of faith is something that happens over and over. When you have faith, you need to move fast, officer. He's not going to be on the market for long. Roger that. For so many months, our little parish has been struggling financially, but by the grace of God and His provision, we have received the most donations in church history. Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! So it's all Jesus? We don't get any credit? We need to start our own church. They don't pay taxes. It's a very sound business model. About 